guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to show you guys how to get this lioness hair that I have here. And let me let you in on a secret. Good one. It's not my hair. Well, not all of it. They're clip-ins that I actually dyed myself at home for the very first time in a long time. I am like loving rocking my curls. They literally are starting to come back. They're in full effect. Like I'm obsessed with them. I can actually say that I love my curls and it's been a long, long time since I've loved my curls. So um, with me having this balayage thing going on in my head right now, it's not the greatest because it is hella brassy in certain places, but I'm about to get it fixed. So like, don't even worry about that. But for the meantime, I dyed these extensions to kind of blend into my head to make my hair appear a little bit fuller and a little bit longer. So if you want to learn how to achieve this look on your hair, then keep on watching. All right, so this is the hair that I got off of AliExpress. I will put um, the vendor information in the description box below. Um, so I'm starting out with some dark and lovely box dye. Um, I believe this is the color Honey Blonde. I like to use this as my base, I guess you could call it, for my dye. Just because, as you know, bleach is super harsh and it is not forgiving at all. So if you are bleaching curly hair, you don't want to lose too much of the curl pattern from over-processing or the bleach or whatnot. So I like to use this box dye at first just to see how well the hair lifts and then I take it from there. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding the um, dye to the bottom of the hair first and then working my way up the hair to kind of give that gradient ombre effect um, so that the hair gradually gets uh, lighter at the bottom and darker to the top of the weft. And then going in with the lightning cream be very careful with this stuff. If this gets on your skin, it is no fun. And it is super watery, so you want to make sure that you don't drop it anywhere, because I did. But anyways, <laughs> you're going to go ahead and just kind of rub that into the hair where you have lightened. And just make sure you fully saturate every single piece of hair, because you want everything to lighten as much as possible. And once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and set a timer for 20 minutes and let that sit. After I washed out uh, the lightning products, um, this is basically what I came out with. It's not as blonde as I wanted it to be, so I'm going to have to use the bleach. So I'm just blow drying the hair um, because obviously you can't add bleach to wet hair. So I'm just blow drying it right now um, on cool so that I don't lose too much of the curl pattern. But as you can see, the curl pattern is not terribly off. So we're just going to go in and now and brighten it some more with some bleach. I am using a 30 developer along with some quick blue. And I'm just sectioning out little pieces randomly through each weft. And those are the only ones that I'm going to go ahead and bleach. I'm not going to bleach the whole thing because I want different kind of tones throughout it as well. So I'm just adding the bleach in the same kind of manner to the bottom first and then working my way up the hair. So once you've gone ahead with the processing and rinsed it out, you're going to just start styling your hair. I'm going to just show you guys some of the products I like to use, even on my natural hair when it comes to my wash and go. So I'm just raking this through each product one at a time through the hair, um, just so that they are fully saturated. These products leave the hair feeling so soft, especially after being processed. It's like a must to make sure your hair is like fully moisturized, especially... Um, these wefts i did find that they um, needed the moisture for sure after they lacked a lot of moisture so i'm just adding in all these products um, to help me with my curl pattern once i've got those raked through i'm gonna just go ahead and now use my denman brush and brush the products through um, just to make sure everything is all the way through each weft and then taking small sections I'm going to just begin to twist the hair 
around my fingers to kind of make these tight little ringlets. And that's pretty much what you're going to do through each weft. And that's pretty much it for styling. Um, and then you're going to just go ahead after you're done with that and let these air dry before you go ahead and clip them into your head. All right, so the hair is done. It's finished its styling process. I just have my own natural hair up here in a pineapple because I actually just did a wash on my hair the other day, so I don't actually need to do it again. Um, but another method I would do would be to do my regular wash and go style, clip these in while my hair is wet, and then actually do the styling in my hair. But because my hair is fresh, I didn't need to do that. So what I went ahead and did is I just added some clips to the hair so I can go ahead and clip it in. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, my hair is, for me, super short. Um, I love my curls now, like I'm loving that they're coming back, but it's still a little too short for me, um, especially because I did such a short cut um, not long ago. So um, it's still like, a little hard to get used to with it being this short, um, but my curls definitely look super healthy. So. I'm just going to go ahead and grab one of the two clip wefts and I'm going to add that just directly right on the bottom. I'm not going to even section a part out. I'm just going to add them directly to the bottom. And then I'm going to just start sectioning off pieces and working my way up my hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed through this part of the tutorial because clipping hair extensions into your head is pretty straightforward. If you don't know how to do it, I'm sure there's like a thousand and one videos on YouTube that will show you how to do that, but it is pretty straightforward. So I'm just gonna speed through this. And um, as for styling the hair and making sure it blended, I just went ahead and cut a few little layers into it just to make sure that like I didn't have these ridiculously long pieces where my hair is quite short. So there you guys have it. This is the final look. Um, I think this is probably like the simplest thing for you to do if you are trying to go natural. I've found that this has kind of saved me some time in regards to styling um, just by being able to clip in pieces and it's also obviously um, protected my hair from me straightening it because if you're clipping in curly extensions you're obviously wearing your hair curly. As a lot of you know, curly hair is extremely high maintenance. So if you are clipping in these clip-ins, that would mean your hair is curly, which would mean you are taking extra, extra care of it, I hope. Um, as for the hair itself, um, some of the pieces stayed nice and curly, didn't lose their curl patterns and whatnot. However, other ones like this one, for example, the ends are done so. Like they can just get it cut right off um, because they are so straggly. Also, these extensions in particular did not take to the bleach or the box dye like I would have wanted them to. I've dyed other hair previously um, using this exact same method, and I've actually gotten like blonder than like my real hair is blonde here, um, like actual real platinum blonde. So for these not to go blonde and kind of still be pretty friggin brassy um, I'm not impressed which would mean to me which seems to be that these were not natural color these were definitely had some type of dye on them and they were for sure processed at some point for sure because there's no way there's no way so with that being said um, this hair bender in particular, probably not gonna buy from them again, just saying. Um, but for the time being, this will work for me when it comes to rocking my curly hair. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you are trying to go ahead and go natural and get some clip-ins and dye them to match maybe an ombre or a balayage you have in your hair, I hope that this video helped. Do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.